Well, back to work on uh, scrapping of the milling machine. There isn't a lot left to do other than I wanted to get these gears out of the top here and uh, decided to move the whole machine over to buy the house so I could get to my tools easier. And it looks like the uh, next plan of attack is gonna be to remove this right here. There's a hole here and there's one opposite it on this side. Uh, where is it? Right there. And it looks to me like there's probably a spanner wrench that you would use to open that up. I don't have one of those, but I think if I just bang on this with a chisel, I might be able to get this to spin off. Well, that's spun off easy enough, but it doesn't really do much for me, interestingly enough. So, that doesn't seem to want to come out that way. I've got this large, looks like a spanner nut inside there. Let's see if I can't unscrew that. Okay, I pushed down, I put my drift in those holes and banged that that way to unscrew that. And as I unscrewed that, it appears that this outer bearing or bushing uh, pushed out and it seems to have unscrewed. So I think now I can actually slide this whole assembly out. Oh, this is a little tricky getting this out. You can't bang it out from the back. Uh, well, I know what I'll do. Uh, I figured I'd thread this back on and use this to grab onto to pull on, but it's hard to thread this back on because I already galled the threads on the end there. It's pretty soft. Oh, get a load of this thing that's coming out as I tap on this. Of course, I already just ruined it, but at least I'll be able to get the shaft out, I think. Hmm. I just dropped my new camera and broke the glass on the screen. Must have hit, must have hit the steel right there. I had it rested up there. Oh well, at least it's not the lens. Makes my view bad, but shouldn't be affecting your view. Uh, anyways, so I got this thing out. It looks like it's uh, almost like a two-piece split deal. And oh yeah, big glob of grease in there. Appears to be brass or bronze. Anyways, I guess I'll clean that up and throw that in the scrap pile. So, those threads there on the end, those are the threads that that ring in there that I loosened end up threading onto. And then these threads here are what this thread's onto, which are the ones I damaged. So, if you want to get this out without damaging it, my recommendation would be to just turn that to loosen it so that you can get a puller, you can put a jaw puller on the outside of this with a slide hammer and probably just pop it and get this to come right out. So what does that do for me? Does that make it so that shaft can be driven out? It doesn't really seem like it. This is this is not really being held in this way by that whole assembly I just took off. So I'm sure I can't drive that shaft out in that direction. And it really wasn't being held in this way either. In other words, <laughs> there's nothing really holding this in that I can see. Unless that's tapered. Well, I guess it might be a tapered hole. If that's the case, then by taking this off, does that mean I can drive it out from the front? Aha! Now we're onto something. What I did was I unscrewed, chisel so I can point, I unscrewed this spanner right here as far as I could. Then I unscrewed the one behind it, and that let me unscrew this even further until I unscrewed it to the point where I don't think I could turn it anymore. And now, what's happening is, when I tap on this shaft on the back here, it's pushing out this whole cone assembly here. So, I think we're onto something. Uh, so, if I tap on the back here, Uh-oh. 
Oh, just stopped dead. Oh, let's see, maybe I can turn that spanner some more now. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I just noticed as I was turning uh, around that spanner nut, there's a screw head right in there. I wonder if that's a locking screw. So I'm gonna go, go get a screwdriver and loosen that screw. All right, the only way I could see the, do this, loosening that screw did make that uh, looser and easier to turn. So you turn that spanner nut on the back a little bit, and then you turn this bigger one in the front a little bit, and then you tap it a little bit till the shaft comes out and it won't come out any further, and then you continue to do that loosening the two nuts and then repeat the process and eventually the nuts will reach the end of the threads and become completely free at which point you can then tap out this whole shaft now you can see the front spindle is ready to come out from the whole unit now I want to be careful because I'm pretty sure that as soon as I slide this shaft out these gears are going to want to fall and I don't want to damage them in case somebody needs them so the whole purpose of taking this apart is to try and save these parts, so I'm going to put something underneath there. Alright, so now you can see that's what the uh, thing was threaded onto, and the spanner nut was threaded onto that. So I'll wiggle and pull the shaft out this way slowly, and the first thing that drops out off the end is this spacer, and then this spanner nut, and then uh, as you pull the shaft out you support this whole gear assembly from underneath and it uh, comes out as one piece so that's uh, basically how that works and now it looks like I've got to contend with making sure this assembly doesn't just fall off and get damaged I don't know if that whole gear looks like it might be able to come out after I pull the shaft out. Well, I think uh, I'll call it quits at this point. I could call it quits for today anyways because this gear, you can see how this is cut out here to just fit that gear in there. This gear can't come out this way. It's basically, it's hitting down here. You can see down here, it's got a little area that it just fits in. So that gear, the only way that gear is coming out is this way out towards me and in order for that to happen I've got to get this shaft and gear assembly right here off and I'm having trouble with that because it looks to me like these are supposed to be spun out with the spanner wrench and I don't have one of those so I tried tapping on it with the chisel like I did with the one that was over here that came out and uh, not having any luck these don't want to seem to budge so I don't know if I'm doing that completely wrong I even tried to see if they were reverse thread going in the other direction and they don't seem to want to budge well I began to think maybe there was a pin or something in here keeping this from moving and lo and behold I banged on all of this heavy paint that's on here and there's a screw head right here so let's remove that screw if we can and see what happens yeah look at that get the feeling maybe that was the whole problem Bet you that'll unscrew now.